Hi, this is Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Your home sold, guaranteed, or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic. Oceanwide Plaza, downtown Los Angeles. The zombie building. What's happening with this zombie building? If you see any properties that are of interest to you, let us know. We will gladly send you a property information packet on any loft, condo, or house, or private preview is available upon request. If you have a home you'd like to sell, you should know that I will guarantee the sale of your present home at a price acceptable to you, or I'll buy it for cash. This guarantee will allow you to buy your next home without worrying about selling your present home. To find out how much you could sell your home for, call me at 213-880-9910 now. Here's a zombie building. It looks similar to buildings in China that they build and then nobody moves in or they don't finish it and it sits there for a year or 10 years or 20 or forever. But this is right in the prime location of downtown Los Angeles, right across the street from Staples Center and LA Live and also right across the street on the other side from Flower Street Lofts. This is the real estate news about the ocean of debt. The LA Loft Blog has received many requests for more information about the massive, incomplete construction project that lies directly between Staples Center and Flower Street Lofts in downtown Los Angeles. Here's an update with details. In, just in about the stalled mega project. Well, we'd like to point out your attention to the information we found in China as it relates to the, you know, the step down of Chairman Liu Zhekuang. The only information we could find in the U.S. news is reported on Bloomberg that there's a new chairman in place as well as two new vice chairmen. So why did Mr. Liu Zhekuang stepped down quietly without any news being released about the new leadership team that was put in his place. Furthermore, we believe that Chairman Liu is hiding in San Francisco currently and possibly has been in the United States for a while. City of Los Angeles, Ocean of Corruption. Knowing that Chairman Liu Zhekuang has stepped down probably should be pronounced Lu Zhi Chang. Lu Zhi Chang. Yeah. Lu Zhi Chang has stepped down and a new chairman, Song Hong Mu, has been put in place. And the auditor, PWC, has resigned. One can draw their own conclusions as to possibilities of issues with Oceanwide Holdings and the potential for findings in connection with the ongoing FBI investigation with Los Angeles City Councilman Jose Huizar. Please note we have not done the research of possible connections to corruption in their other locations in the U.S., but perhaps this is worth digging into. Finally, to note many of the articles we found surrounding Oceanwide Los Angeles, the mechanics liens mentioned are approximately $100 million. It is our understanding through public records and filings the mechanic liens have climbed to $180 million. The EB-5 loans will be coming due in 2021 with no further extensions. And it's highly unlikely a project of this nature with no ability to fund will be completed in time to pay such notes. If you take a look at the off LA Loft blog, other previous articles that we've done about this topic, you'll see that someone was coming around to possibly buy it uh, just before we had the major crash and virus panic in February. So now uh, everything is off the table that we can see. There's nothing currently. There's uh, no hope in the foreseeable future as for a resolution of this immensely huge, unbuilt, partially constructed uh, monstrosity that it is right now. Uh, there's something to say about it is that it kind of fits in with the, lands the current landscape of the third world uh, sort of aura, the third world motif that's going on in Los Angeles right now.